When I bring up the topic of army men, all my friends say I'm obsessed with it. They always say, why would you need that much army men? They're just little plastic toys. But I don't really care about the toy factor of army men. I just use them for filmmaking. And what I am obsessed with is filmmaking. I mentioned this in my where to get army men video. All I really care about is the poses. But if you never filmed with army men, you probably won't understand. Poses for army men allow you to make better films. Unlike in movies where the actors can do basically whatever they want. Army men are just stuck to one single pose. So now if you want to make a film, you gotta rely on the company's designs on the soldier. And that's why in my other video I bought 900 army men. All I really wanted were the poses. All the different poses are really good for filmmaking. So once I got back to school and somehow got in the 3D modeling class, guess what I wanted to print first? 3D printing army men was an idea I got a while ago. And my friends and family were like, WHY WOULD YOU HAVE TO MAKE EVEN MORE OF THEM? But 3D modeling allows you to design any type of army man pose you want. The possibilities are endless. You can even make a drunk soldier if you want. And that's what I even did. So today I'll be showing you how to make your own custom army men. And even if you don't care about this stuff, I still have the 3D model links for download in the description below. Let's get into the video. The first step for making custom army men is the models. If you want to get some free army men models, there are some at Thingiverse. There are some other models, but they cost like $3 each, which is really not worth it. But in all, all I could find is about only 5 3D models of toy soldiers on the internet. And one other guy has also made a video on printing army men. I really don't know what this intro is though. But it's a pretty bad video because it's just a 10 minute time lapse of army men printing. So models of army men are really limited. But you might be saying, why don't you just make your own models? But once you get into 3D modeling and how to make 3D models, it's actually really hard. It's almost impossible for you to make an army man model. That's why most of the models on Tinkercad are actually just 3D scans of the object. And here's my horrible attempt on making a toy soldier in 360 fusion. It's, it's, it's impossible. And this is what I was working on for 3 weeks in my 3D modeling class. This horrible monstrosity. But then my teacher introduced us to Tinkercad. And my 3D modeling teacher is pretty stupid. First he shows us the hardest program to use, 360 Fusion. He doesn't really teach us how to use it, he just gives it to us. And then he gives us the easier program, which doesn't, doesn't make sense. What? But one day during class I realized I don't need this 360 Fusion, I have the simplest program in the world. My idea was that I could just get an existing 3D model of a toy soldier, cut his limbs off, and re-piece them together and blend them together so it looks like he's doing something else. And it works really well. I basically taught myself how to use Tinkercad all by myself. The teacher doesn't do jack shit. I swear that 3D modeling teacher, I mean he lets us print basically whatever we want but He's not really a teacher. So let's get started. First off, if you didn't know, Tinkercad is free, so basically you just have to make an account and you can basically go ham. So that's good. As I said, you can get files from Thingiverse. And there's five army men files I found on that site. But I only use two of them. This one and this sniper one. Actually, I don't really use a sniper at all, so I only use this grenader guy. The rest are a different story. These two are 3D scans, and that means they're really high quality, but I can't import them into Tinkercad because they're just too high quality. These Nazi soldiers seem pretty promising, but I can't even open the file, so I don't, I don't understand. But this grenader is basically all you need to make every type of soldier you want. To make your own custom models, you need to know how Tinkercad works. I suggest you look up a short tutorial or something first. But first off, you want to download the Grenader file on Thingiverse. The link is in the description below. Once you've downloaded that, you can import it like this. Once you imported it, now you have infinite soldiers basically. You first want to start off by cutting off all of the soldiers' limbs. And while recording this, uh, I, think, I think my family thinks I'm insane. But yeah, cut off all the arms, all the legs, and the head. This allows you to reposition basically everything. To slice off the limbs, all you have to do is clone the soldier. You can use either Ctrl D to duplicate or Ctrl C and V to copy and paste. 
Once you have two soldiers, all you have to do is use the holes to remove parts of the soldier. You just get this block and put it over what you want to remove on the soldier. In this case, it's this single arm. I'll stretch this cube and rotate it until it covers everything but the arm. Then I go up here and group it. This removes the rest of the object. And now you just have an arm. Then you repeat this for basically everything. And that's why in my original project, I have just limbs everywhere. You want to make sure every time you build a new soldier, you just copy parts from these banks, I guess? Because if you use the original object, you're gonna have to get more arms. So I just suggest copy pasting it. Now you can just do basically whatever you want. It's pretty simple. For this, let's just make a simple soldier. First thing I do is I get the main body. Then I just stick on the arms in whatever position I want. If you want to make the straight arm bended, you're going to have to cut off half of the arms and reposition them. Then you can add a circle in the middle to blend it together. And after that you can group it together and you have a new arm. Now for the fun part. If you want to add arms or any other objects, just go on Thingiverse and search it up. And this gives so many possibilities. You can search up a minigun, a rifle, German guns, I don't know. You can also have other objects such as cups, plates, backpacks. It's endless. All you have to do is download it and import it, just like with the army man. Since I wanted to keep it simple, I just used this M1 Garand gun. I just reposition it so that the arms and hands connect with the gun. You can basically make the soldier point the gun anywhere. And sometimes with the arms, you might have a really bad transition where it just has a huge gap. And that's the worst thing about making these models because filling in those gaps will make the soldier look a little unnatural. But sometimes you can do it with a sphere or two. When you print it, the gaps might go away because the quality of the print won't be that good. Unless you're using a good quality printer like those resin printers. Either way, the printer might blend it together or you'll probably not see the gap at all. After that, I add on the legs and the head. The legs and the head usually don't need that much blending because of how basic they are. Now you can add on like backpacks or other types of helmets or basically whatever you want. When you edit all of those, you can just group it. And now you're all done. Your own custom army man model. Now that we're done making the models, it's time to print it. Before you print your soldiers, you need to get your model ready. First thing is to add stands. Most toy soldiers have stands, which are just basically plates for them to stand on. You can just use the cylinder or the diamond, which I use. But most of the toy soldiers I'm printing right now, which is this batch, don't have any stands. This is because these are custom tank commanders, and tank commanders don't need stands because they just get in the way. You don't want to print individual soldiers, they'll just waste a lot of time. That's why you want to print multiple soldiers with one print. And you don't always have to print soldiers, you can also print other items and props. In the back, as you can see, I'm printing some chairs. With 3D printers, you can print a lot of good things for stop motions. But I wouldn't recommend printing tanks or bunkers or whole buildings. It's just a waste of plastic, it's better to use something else. You should only print soldiers or little props because they need a lot of detail and you can't really make them with cardboard. Another thing you might want to do is add custom supports. This is really easy, you just have to add little skinny columns wherever you think that there might be too much overhang. And here's a really important step. If you go up here, there's an arrange option. You want to select all your soldiers that you want to print and arrange them and click the bottom one. This makes all your soldiers standing on the same level so that they don't float. And if they do float, it might cause some trouble in printing. I forgot to mention this, but you also need a 3D printer of course. And that's probably going to be the main problem in all of this. Somehow, you have to have access to a 3D printer. If you have your own 3D printer, good for you. You can do basically whatever you want. But if you're like me and you don't have a 3D printer, you're going to have to find other sources. For me, I 3D print things in my school. And I'm really lucky to have a class with 3D printers. But the problem is, the damn teacher doesn't let me print things with guns. Like, what the hell? He lets those damn goddamn 7th graders print freaking Fortnite skins, rockets, and V-Bucks. He doesn't let me print a freaking just a toy soldier. So that's why I'm printing toy soldiers without any guns, and I just call them figurines. So then the teacher doesn't get alarmed. If you want to print toy soldiers with guns, you're probably going to have to ask your friends. I have a few friends that have a 3D printer, so I'll be asking them soon. 
To get the model ready to print, you'll just have to convert it to an STL and slice it. I can't really give you good details on how to slice and convert your file into a 3D printer because all 3D printers are different. Depending on your printer, it might have bad print quality. The print quality depends on the height of the layers. Usually, 3D modeling printers let you change the layer height. The layer height I suggest is 0.2mm or 0.1, but anything below 1mm is fine. Anything above 1mm will make the soldier look like a potato. Now you can print it. When it's done printing, you should clean up the model. This means removing any plastic bits or supports. But one big problem about 3D printers is that they leave this weird line pattern. Since the 3D printers print on lines and layers, you can see all the layers, which is really bad. One way to fix this is painting it. That's why I recommend you don't really choose a color for your prints. Any color will do, it doesn't really matter. To paint your soldiers, I recommend you use some glossy paints. Most of the time I paint my tanks with the acrylic paint, but that doesn't really work on plastic too well. I mean, the acrylic paints still work, but they don't really give that shine. Also, glossy paints are way thicker, so they cover up the lines more easily. But with acrylic paints, it's a lot thinner, so I think you might have to use more layers. I'm painting this soldier with the green glossy paint I got from Walmart. It might take a lot of layers. Once you're done painting it, it should look like this. Here's a soldier painted with glossy paint and a soldier painted with acrylic. You can really see the difference. Also, this print failed. It became a mangled mess. And now you can go 3D print your whole army. I'll be using all these toy soldiers in my future videos. And like I said before, you can have all these models in the description below. I'll have the original Grenader soldier and some of my own models. And here's a preview of all the soldiers that will be in the description below. But none of these guys have guns because I couldn't print any with guns. So yeah. Anyways, thank you all for watching.